Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. My name is Rhea and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys the three books that I read throughout February and March, as well as a little haul. Um, I don't have much, but I just decided that I'd go ahead and make this video because it's been a while since I talked about books. Oh, and also, if you guys haven't noticed, I am in a new space. I am still in my workroom, but I am slowly, like, reorganizing it and decorating it the way I wanted to. And so, I finally have my little recording nook over here. Um, so I'm very excited. I hope you guys love my cactus. It's my favorite. Anyways, let's jump right in. So the first book I read in February was The Crowns Game, and I gave this book a four and a half rating. I absolutely enjoyed this book. I really, really loved it. I thought that the world building was very well done. I really enjoyed the way the magic worked in this book. It is a fantasy novel set in Russia. I love how the writer created the story and how the magic literally came from the heart of Russia, like the land itself. Um, I thought that that was absolutely beautiful. Um, the twists and turns in this book were wild. It was so crazy. Um, I think the only downfall about it is that they weren't really revealed in like an ex unexpected and exciting way. They just had like a very flat unveiling I guess you could say um but I really really enjoyed it um so this book is about a girl who is um training to be the imperial enchanter Russia has a czar and um they have magic in this world only the people are not aware of magic and so um there's only one magic wielder and that is the imperial enchanter and um, as far as Vika, our main character, knows, she is the only one, and so she has been training her whole life to become the Imperial Enchanter. However, one of the twists is, spoiler alert, there is a second Enchanter, and his name is Nikolai. So Vika grows up not knowing about Nikolai, but Nikolai did know about Vika growing up, and so he kind of has the advantage. And um, because there are two Enchanters, they have to fight in what is called the Crown's Game. And the way this works they each have to take turns and showcase their magic and show what they have to offer the Empire and so um, I really really enjoyed this book I thought the main character was really lovable and I absolutely loved Nikolai as well he is probably one of my favorite characters in this book and um, yeah I just overall like I said I gave it a four and a half stars so if you are interested in um, fantasy and magic um, I highly recommend it I will say though that the ending is a bit of a turn and it's kind of a plot twist and it kind of leaves you on a cliffhanger and it doesn't really set us up that well for the second book and that is The Crown's Fate um, which is the second book that I read in February I do not own that book um, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because honestly I didn't enjoy it as much I this is a duology series meaning there's only two books in the series and The Crown's Fate was the last one and I was really disappointed. I think I only ended up giving it about a two and a half star rating. And it's because as much as I loved the first book, um, the second one just didn't cut it for me. Like, I felt like the author had two choices when it came to the direction of the way the series was going to go. And the direction she went with it, I just, I really didn't care for it at all. Um, I really felt like we ended up going in a direction that had absolutely no ties with what happened in the first book and so it was just kind of like what the heck it just kind of like just came out of nowhere so I really didn't like it I'm not going to go into too much detail on that just because I really don't want to give too much away um with this book but just know that it leaves you with a twist that was very unexpected and in my honest opinion the second book just doesn't meet up to the standards that this book sets you up for. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, the one and only book that I managed to read in March is a reread, but it is a reread by one of my favorite authors. She's a contemporary author and that is Casey West. And the book that I read was By Your Side. I really, really enjoy this book. This is my third time, I believe, reading it, um, but it had been a couple of years since I read it. 
And this book is about um, two kids who get stuck in the library over the weekend where there's like this crazy blizzard and they ended up getting locked in the library. Our main character's name is Autumn and she actually suffers from anxiety. Um, being a person who deals with anxiety on a daily basis, I could really relate to Autumn and um, all of those emotions that come with anxiety and how we struggle to deal with it on a daily on a daily basis and so um, I really enjoy this book the main romance um, is very swoon worthy I absolutely love him his name is I always forget his name Dax that's his name um, I just really love these two characters I love Casey West's books like I said um, if you guys watched my I think it's my um, 2020 reading challenge video um, she is one of my like favorite authors to read her books are always really like fluffy and fun and easygoing but at the same time they carry weight to them and that is kind of how I feel about this book. It deals with some pretty um, major subjects, but it gives you this lighthearted feel to it um, that kind of balances out um, each other. And so I really enjoy her books. And if you haven't read anything by her, I highly recommend this book as well as The Fill In Boyfriend. That was one of my first books that I read by her and I really liked it. So um, yeah, you should definitely check her out. I think I gave this book a four and a half stars. Again, it's fun, it's fluffy, it's cute, and it also deals with like some major um, things at the same time without being too like overpowering. So if you are into contemporary fiction, uh, contemporary romance, I would definitely recommend this so book. Those are the three books that I read. Um, I know this video is kind of short, but uh, like I said, I only read three books over the past two months, um, which is a feat for me and it's a win because like I said I am a mom and I don't always have the time to like sit around and read as much as I would like to but with that being said I did manage to go out and buy one book in the past two months remember how I said in my 2020 reading goals for this year I was not planning to buy on any books except for the few that I knew were coming out already that I was planning to buy and one of them finally came out it is a new release it came out in February I think and that is Crescent City House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Moss I am so excited to get into this book I'm so happy to have my hands on it um, I love Sarah J Moss Man, and this artistry inside is just amazing. Um, this is her first adult fantasy series. She usually writes um, a young adult fantasy, but if you read her A Court of Thorns and Roses, that's really heavy on like the adult side of romance. So um, I really think that the transition between her young adult versus adult stuff is going to be pretty easy and so I'm super excited to get into this. I will leave the links to it down below for all of these books but yeah that is it. Um, I'm currently reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Um, I don't know that I will finish it though because I'm really struggling with it. I'm only 45 pages in and so far I'm not liking it. I think I'm going to give it another a full hundred pages before I decide whether to keep on reading or give up on it. So stay tuned for that. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you in my next one. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye!